The Ministry of Health and Wellness continues to ramp up efforts to respond to the increasing cases of COVID-19. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharad Belmar George during a recent press conference noted that the rapid increase in cases over a short period of time has affected the ministry's capacity to manage cases. As a result, new measures had to be implemented, including home isolation. Some of the other issues that we have had to deal with is the vast numbers of persons coming to our respiratory clinics. Initially, we've been able to manage everyone coming. We set up five respiratory clinics to ensure access to care. That is the Groselet Polyclinic, the La Clary Wellness Center, the Denry Hospital, the Soufre Hospital, and the Viewfort Wellness Clinics. As you note, the increased incidence of cases between Cashews and Groselet, we noted a lot of persons coming so we very quickly had to double up on our staffing. And we did have a week where the numbers were more than the staff could manage during that period. And as soon as we were alerted, we got the authority to increase the number of physicians and nurses to, to try to manage and also to change some of the policies. In an effort to reduce the number of individuals visiting the respiratory clinics around the island, the Ministry of Health and Wellness has trained several health personnel across the island to be able to provide more services. This allows health professionals stationed at COVID-19 certified properties to administer the COVID-19 PCR tests for staff and visitors alike. Our respiratory um, centers were the sites where, um, for example, travelers, the new requirement for travelers um, needing a test, they would come to our respiratory clinics to get their test done. We had to quickly change that, train the medical staff at the hotel so that they can take the sample at the hotel and send it to our lab. So that way it reduced staff coming to, um, visitors coming to our respiratory clinics and further overwhelming the system. We've also indicated that um, the smaller um, guest houses, etc., would use their private physicians and different physicians to take those samples to reduce the number of persons coming so we can concentrate on persons coming in for care. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George. Meantime, Director of the Ezra Long Laboratory, Dr. Wayne Felicia, says the turnaround time for the processing and delivery of test results is expected to improve drastically following the implementation of new measures. It's forced us to look at our processes from sample collection at the various sites, from reception of samples, from the mere processing, the analytical aspect of it, and then the delivery of it and just look at every single system and see where we can develop efficiencies and how we can reduce that and bring it back to the 12 to 24 hours that we've had. The team has taken on different strategies, so we should see that decreasing within the next few days, hopefully by next week so, we should see it going back to what we've been accustomed to delivering and reducing the anxiety level. Um, to note, we've processed almost 25 samples within St. Lucia and 62% of that over the last four months, a substantial amount, approximately 15,000. And the large majority of the positives have come over that period as well. So we have our challenges, we're trying to overcome them. We've done, we've already started implementing some of those strategies to reduce it. And there should be some changes noted within the next few days. With the upsurge in cases, the government of St. Lucia is looking at stricter measures to curtail the spread of COVID-19, increase and improve testing capacity, and to ensure there is adequate space for quarantine and isolation. As previously announced by the Office of the Prime Minister, there will be a NEMAC stakeholders meeting this week to discuss strengthening COVID-19 prevention and control protocols.